and it's another day. It's day 41 of my vis -vis Iraq experiment, 50 day challenge. Just 10 days to go. All right, I'm uh, Ablaut and today I made a patch in vis -vis Iraq for the Naviar Haiku that this week is an evening cloudburst. Sparrows cling desperately to trembling bushes. So I was thinking, shall I take the sparrows? I've, do, I've been doing a lot of bird sounds recently, but I didn't find an inspiring recording. Then I thought, well, cloud bursts, heavy rain, we can emulate that with noise. So that's how I started my patch, doing noise. This noise module from Bog Audio has some lovely pink noise, which after some filtering gave me some pretty good rain sounds. I added this Hetrick dust module or some variation, some added noisy sounds. And uh, yes, I got some rain sounds, but I wanted something more, something maybe more musical. Anyway, I started adding stuff, as you can see here, I added stuff. And then I found out that that rain sound is just too much. So I took it out, except for, for the dust module. That's the one you're hearing now, right? But this pink noise from Bog Audio is not going directly to the mixer at all. I'm just using that to feed it to the resonator, which is strummed by this dusty noise from Hetrick. And then of course we modulate some of the parameters of our resonator and then we get this sound. which is pretty crazy as it is. And I think interesting, especially after some nice reverb from Plateau with a really long decay here for that nice ambient soundscape. But I thought, what would happen if we get some spectral madness in the mix? So I fed the output of the resonator into Camilla first, the time stretcher, and that into a spectro. Both of these are clouds, right, the clouds module, um, but in different modes, and uh, Southpaw has given them individual names. And this goes to this channel, which indeed adds some madness to the mix. I have filtered this to roll off some of the highs, which I think makes it sound more pleasant. And the, uh, the scope here down in the corner gets its input from Camilla. And then the, the filters here of the, the noise uh, modulated by Caudal and we modulate the cutoff and the resonance, the resonance only slightly. 
add that adds variation to the whole patch. I've also modulated some of the parameters in Camilla and Spectro. Uh, I'm using your slow limiter at its maximum setting to modulate the structure. And to slow down the modulation of this parameter. And as you hear, we get kind of a basic drone out of the resonator here. Well, there is a lot going on on top of it, and we get some washes of noise here based on this density parameter and how it's modulated and of course the cutoff of the filters so I think for cloudburst it's appropriately noisy If you want to know what the clock is doing here, well, the clock is an input for here. Uh, this Fibonacci clock divider, although I'm just using the 8 here as it worked out. It, I could have used another divider, but whatever. Um, which hits Gauda, right? puts this LFO, chaotic LFO into motion. Um, it also drives our Bernoulli gate, which drives triggers for some of the sample and hold inputs for either transpose parameter. So we didn't, don't get too much of this pitch bending going on. And uh, for the position parameter in the resonator, again, to uh, limit the, the pitch bending going on when you move that parameter. And that's my patch for today. I hope you enjoyed it, or at least took a bit of inspiration from it. And if you are uh, on Facebook, the VCV Rack official users group, make sure to vote for the very cool patch contest. We have uh, several entries for the Portland weather, uh, the first week of the contest. And uh, we have two more days of voting before we declare a winner. And we have week two running right now with a module uh, from Submarine that doesn't take as much resources, actually really little, especially compared to Portland weather, which, which was really heavy for a lot of users. Anyway. Check out the contest on Facebook. And that's it for today. Please like, subscribe and keep patching.